Uh -huh. I would like to introduce Huang Wiling, a medical acupuncture and pain management clinic, Brazil, titled Malignant Tumor Regression, uh -huh. Balancing Internal Energies and Chakras Energies Replacement. And I would like to introduce Dr. Huang Wiling, Chinese raised in Brazil since the age of one, graduated in medicine in Brazil, specializing in infections and parasitic diseases, a general paratician and parentineal and internal medical nutrition therapist. She was responsible for the control of all the prescribed antimicrobial medication and received an award for the best paper presentation at the Brazilian Hospital Infection Control Congress in 1998. Since he is the owner of the Medical Acupuncture and Pain Management Clinic, and since 1997 has been presenting her work worldwide concerning the treatment of various diseases using technical based on several medical transactions around the world. Thank you. Um, thank you for introducing me. Uh, my name is Juan Weiling, I'm a medical doctor from Brazil. And I would like to thank the organizing committee to invite me to this conference to share this study about the entitled Malignant Tumor Regression, Balancing Internal Energies and Chakras Energy Replenishment. Um, first, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Um, analyzing this study we have in literature, the aim um, is to give a supportive treatment to patients with cancer who are undergoing cancer treatment using chemotherapy and their radiotherapy. And all of them aim to control nausea, vomiting, depression, and loss of appetite, etc. But this presentation I'll give you today is different from what we have in literature for I will approach the pathology of cancer from the energy point of view, not treating only the symptoms as the cancer itself, but the patient as a whole, observing the influence of the energy imbalances on the cancer development. And I will, I will demonstrate that malignant tumor can regress into benign or disappear completely, only balancing internal energies taking out heat retention and replenishment of the chakra's energy deficiencies with the use of high diluted medications. Lewis Thomas and Frank McFarlane Burnett proposed the concept of immunological surveillance of cancer more than five decades ago. And it was defined by Burnett as follow, in large long-lived animals, like most of warm blooded vertebrates, inheritable genetic changes must become in somatic cells. And a, pro a proportion of these changes will represent a step toward malignance. It's an evolutionary necess necessity that there should be some mechanism for eliminating or inactivating such potentially dangerous mutant cells. And it's a postulated that this mechanism is of immunological character. And what Western medicine says about the regression of a malignant tumor. The spontaneous healing of cancer is a phenomenon that has been observed for hundreds of and thousands of years and after having been the subject of many controversies, it's now accepted as an indisputable fact. A review of past reports demonstrates that regression is usually associated with acute infection, fever, and immune spoliation. And the standard definition of a spontaneous regression is the pressure or complete disappearance of a malignant tumor in the absence of treatment or in the presence of therapy considered inadequate to exert a significant influence on the disease. Um, can you turn off your, your speaker because there is a sound behind, thank you. And according to traditional Chinese medicine, malignant tumor has a cause 
energy deficiencies and the formation of heat retention. In this presentation, I emphasize the need to treat the patient holistically, treating the energy disharmonies between yin and qi and blood energies. And by rebalancing these energies, we are able to treat all the patient's physical and emotional symptoms in different pathologies at the same time. And today's presentation, I will explore the reasoning in cancer patients. And according to Rain H, in this article entitled The Brain and Immune System Prompt Energy Storage in Chronic Inflammation and Aging, pe uh, people are getting sicker because their bodies are unable to control energy expenditures in the right way. Many, many sometimes is spending too much energy on activity that could, wouldn't be so necessary. And when these patients have an infectious disease or not, their body cannot fight it efficiently, which can cause sequels such as fatigue, depressed mood, sleep alteration, loss of appetite, muscle wasting, cachectic obesity, bone loss, and hypertension. In a study in my clinic analyzing 409 medical files, of about uh, a thousand patients from the past five years, from 2015 to 2020, I noticed that more than 90% of these patients analyzed have an energy deficiency in all the chakras energy meridians that we have in our body, have energy only in the spiritual chakra that is the seventh chakra. And the chakra are related to the five massive organs of the human body, according to a study did by uh, some publications, and which, according to TCM, are interconnected and control our entire body and our functioning of the, our, our organs and systems. And the fact that 19% 19, 19 of my patients do not have energy in their massive organs can explain the increase in diagnosis in several diseases, such as hypertension, diabetes, myocardial infarction, and uh, even cancer, as I have already shown in several congress around the world. And in all this publication, not uh, the publication uh, regarding myocardial infarction, diabetes, and uh, hypertension, and, uh, oh, th sorry. And I'm demonstrating in all these uh, publications that all these patients have in common the energy deficiencies in all the chakra center meridians. And uh, another important fact that we can relate is the increase in the number of cancer patients in all age groups, which until recently was more common in older patients. And according to the National Cancer Institute of Brazil in 2014, about 2,700 children and adolescents between 1 and 19 years old died in Brazil, being the second leading cause of death in this age group in the country and in 2016. The number of cases in this age group rose to about 12,000 people. Now uh, I will begin to describe the two patients' case report. This is the first case that I will show you how I treat and the results. In November of 2018, the patient MMGG, a 70-year-old woman, did a routine gynecological exam, and the doctor requested a thyroid exam. And on the result, it was found that the patient had three malignant tumors on the thyroid, and the biggest one was 40 centimeters, and the patient was submitted to a biopsy, which confirmed the diagnosis of malignancy. And she was then taken to another specialist of disease of head and neck, which suggested an urgent surgery to take, uh, take out all the thyroid and do iodotherapy and chemotherapy afterwards. And she started treatment with levothyroxine. 
and is stressed out by her recent diagnosis, the patient sought my clinic again after a long time. And I had previously done acupuncture and treatments on her because she had diabetes, hypertension, obesity, and diabetic retinopathy too. And when she came back, I diagnosed her according to TCM diagnosis with indeficiency and heat retention. And based on traditional Chinese medicine reasoning, I orientate her to take out of her diet all dairy products called water, raw food, and sweets, because this food can balance this yin and pancreas meridian. And also, I orientate her to avoid the ingestion of fried foods, eggs, chocolate, honey, coconut, and alcoholic beverages, because all this food can increase the formation of internal heat, that is one of the cause of the cancer formation, and also avoid, uh, to avoid the coffee, soda, mati tea, because these foods can increase the chance of reducing the kidney energy, um, kidney's energy, and kidney is responsible for the formation of yin and yang in the body. And also I did uh, the auricular acupuncture to rebalance the yin and yang energy. And yin and yang are produced by the kidney. That is why I, I use always the kidney points. Here is the points to treat the emotional symptoms, anxiety. And here is a point to, uh, to increase the formation of blood. And here is the liver point to, to maintain the distribution of the energy inside the body. Here is the point to treat the heart and the lungs. The heart is to maintain the blood circulating in the vessel and the lung is responsible for the distribution of energy into the entire body. And she also, she was also submitted to the chakras energy meridian with this radiesthesia procedure using a crystal pendulum. And what we found that this patient was in the lowest level of energy in all her chakra. In this chakra, uh, it's um, theory in Ayurvedic medicine, but we, uh, we, um, did a, a reasoning using Ayurvedic and traditional Chinese medicine because each chakra corresponds to uh, one massive organ in TCM. And measuring one chakra, we are measuring uh, one internal massive organ in TCM, such as in the first chakra corresponds to the liver, the second to the kidney, the third to the heart, the fourth to the lung, the fifth to the spleen. And uh, you can see that each organ has an internal energy function and the, the liver and the lung is responsible for the distribution of the energy inside the body. The spleen is responsible for the absorption of nutrients and formation of blood. And the heart is responsible for controlling the, the, the blood circulation to the uh, blood vessels and the kidney is responsible for the production of yin and yang in the body. And the, the um, equilibrium of this energy is, um, is important to maintain health to the patient. And you can see that all these organs are in the lowest level of energy. And this means that the, this equilibrium is not uh, working in this patient. That is why she is weak in energy leading to the formation of diabetes, obesity, and in this case, cancer too. And also here I'm demonstrating the medication that I use to treat to replenish in her chakras energy. This is a theory uh, in this article published by me. This is a new theory in homeopathy because homeopathy, they usually don't have, uh, don't, uh, They don't uh, understand very well the why the homeopathy medication, how the homeopathy medication works. And in this case, 
I'm using traditional Chinese medicine reasoning, but using homeopathic medicine to treat uh, the patient in the root level, in the, in the deepest level of the treatment, treating the lack of energy of internal organs that are responsible for the functioning of all uh, external sensory organ and all the uh, functioning of the, all the organs. And here are the homeopathy medications and crystal-based medication that I usually use to treat. And, um, and this patient, they went to uh, acupuncture sessions. She did the acupuncture session every day and changing the diet and use uh, the high diluted medications. And uh, the result is after three months with the surgery schedule, um, it was a request for the patient to repeat the exam. And she did the sur surgery. And um, during the surgery, the surgeon did a freezing biopsy. And as a result of this biopsy, it was discovered that the tumor had turned benign. It was not, it was not malignant anymore. And the, the exam showed that a reduction of one tumor for, from 14 centimeters to 4.5 centimeters. And from the other two tumors, one had disappeared completely. And after the discovery, the patient did not need to do chemotherapy and iodotherapy anymore. And the thyroid of the patient that needed to be completed, removed at the first, was now normally functioning, not needing to be taken out surgically. And now I, I want to, to describe the second and last case report is a 38-year-old female patient who came to my clinic after having an exam showing a typical cellular result in a pap smear exam. And the patient was frightened by the idea of cancer. And in Chinese medicine, her diagnosis was yin yang qi and blood deficiencies and heat retention. And her treatment consisted in Chinese dietary consulate, the same as in the first case report, acupuncture, auricular acupuncture to rebalance the internal en uh, energies, and they fix the blood the Latin to take out the formation of heat retention. And the patient chakra was also measured, and it was found that all her internal energy were in the weakest level of energy. And here I'm showing you the metaphor of the tree that I usually use in all my presentations. Here is a um, tree-like figure that I'm comparing the Western medicine reasoning with the Chinese, uh, the Chinese traditional Chinese medicine reasoning. In this tree, we can see the track with several branches. Each branch represents one medical specialty. And coming out of each branch, there is um, many leaves. And these leaves represent the symptoms and disease treated by each specialty. And I'm uh, proposing this figure that Western medicine uh, is treating at the leaf level of this tree. But in this presentation, the treatment was not in the leaf level, but at the root level. Uh, in the energy imbalances between the five elements theory and the, the yin and yang theory that are in the side, in the root of the tree that is under the earth, that usually is not visible by the naked eye. And TCM always uh, considered the five, um, the, the external pathogenic factor that can induce the formation of the disease too that is not considered yet by the Western medicine. And for you to understand a little better the way of thinking proposed on this study and the other studies of mine, I would like to describe in a case that originated the theory that guides the proposition of the diagnosis and treatment. In this case I needed, I treated myself in 2007. And this patient, was a 70-year-old patient who reported pain in the legs and was diagnosed with kidney yang deficiency according to TCF. 
and he received a treatment with um, the, the same treatment, Chinese dietary counseling, acupuncture, or regular acupuncture associated with uh, uh, apex blood dilating. And with the treatment done, the pain in the legs uh, the reduced or uh, it was cured and the patient was submitted to an interview after the treatment 13 days after. And the patient revealed to me that also his uh, eye pressure reduced uh, too with this treatment. And as his ophthalmologist confirmed, and during the treatment, he had not reported to me that he was treating glaucoma in the last 40 years with no improvement of his condition. And for the first time of his life, his intraocular pressure reduced from 40 mmHg to 17 mmHg. And this unusual case became the cornerstone of my studies in the field, try to comprehend how the treatment focus on the root of the problem that are the energy imbalances could treat different disease and symptoms simultaneously in using the same method. And to better explain my reasoning, I always like to use this. And then this way, when you, you treat the energy imbalances in the root, all the symptoms in all specialties would uh, improve at the same time because the problems are usually in the root of the tree. And if you treat these energy imbalances, you can treat all the symptoms at the same time. And here's to explain that yin and yang are energy forces that rule out the, rule the world and everything in the universe is composed by yin and yang energies including our human bodies. And the symmetrical arrangement of dark yin and dark and light yang is not static. As we can see in this symbol, it is a rotational symmetry that suggests a continuous cyclically movement. And here is to show you that yin and yang need to be in balance. And that is uh, this balance state that we need to achieve in all the treatments. And here are some imbalances between yin and yang. That is the, uh, when there is imbalance state, disease appear. And from this perspective of traditional Chinese medicine, there are four energies that rule all the health in the body. And the equilibrium between these four energies, uh, the patient will have health. And yin and yang are produced by the kidney, as I show you. Uh, the kidney is represented by the second chakra that was in the lowest level of the energy. Blood is produced by the fifth chakra and is commanded by the third chakra, that's the heart. And the chi is, um, is distributed by the first chakra, the liver, and the fourth chakra. But when you have the the formation of these three energies, the chi will be formed uh, naturally and in adequate amount to have this flow in adequate uh, um, uh, in our body system to uh, give health to the patient. And this imbalance state will uh, have the, when there is a deficiency of one of these energies or a combination of these energy, there is a formation of internal heat that in this case, this is causing the cancer formation, the deficiency of the energy and the formation of internal heat. And here's only to show you how you can do the diagnosis of yin and qi and blood deficiencies. Normally I use uh, the five questions in the first appointment of the patient if the, the patient doesn't have the daily bowel movement, this means blood deficiency. The young deficiency is when the patient feels colder in the extremities. And the, the young deficiency is when the patient had hot uh, extremities or had hot flashes. This is very common condition in the movement in the menopause. It's the young deficiency. Qi deficiency is when the patient has sweating during the day 
without doing any exercise, it does mean that the patient has T deficiency. And you can see if the patient has heat retention. Observing the patient, if they have acne or redness in the skin, or if the patient has dry mouth, bleeding guns, bad breath, abdominal pain, microhematuria, or itching, this could be a sign of heat retention. And besides yin and yang, there is a lot. Okay. Okay, thank you. There are five element theory. Uh, these elements are interconnected by the energy flow and uh, different from the Western medicine perspective where all the energy, uh, they are not interconnected and one dependent on the other and the one can control the functioning of the other. And here is to explain, I, I, I show you, I want to repeat again. And here's only to show you that uh, the, all the dietary counseling need to maintain the internal organs in the adequate level of energy to produce the yin yang yang qi and blood. And here's the spleen and we need to avoid this food to not cause imbalance. And here is to not cause imbalance by this food in the third and the first chakra to maintain the energy adequate. And here's to show you the progression from health to disease, that uh, the Western medicine did the, uh, you usually do the diagnosis when there is alteration in the laboratory exams, but there are three phases before the, these that there are energy imbalances and the patient has symptoms, but the exams are still normal. This not, does not mean that the patient doesn't have anything, but the disease are in the energy level. And when there are some alteration in the laboratory exams, this means that the patient is uh, sick uh, from five years ago or more. And when there is a irreversible cellular lesion, this means that these energy alterations uh, um, are many, uh, many uh, the patient is suffering energy imbalances since many years ago. And here, this is only to demonstrate that in Western medicine, they understand that when the patient are, is in the uh, phase five in the cancer. The cancer cannot reverse to the phase four and three, but in this presentation, I show you that in, first, in the first case report, the patient went to malignant situation to the benign situation. That is why she went to the phase five to phase four. And in the second case, she was in the phase five, but she went to the phase three, three because she normalized her laboratory exams. And uh, here's to show you why I'm using high diluted medication instead of high concentrated medication, because all these patients were in the lowest level of energy. And when I use more high concentrated medication, according to this Anschutz law created in 1888 by two Chilean research, they demonstrated that this kind of medication, uh, medication can reduce even more the vital energy and forming more internal heat and forming more uh, energy deficiencies, leading to more propensity of cancer formation. And that is why cancer patients, when are treating with these kinds of medication, they can reduce the cancer or the metastasis, but they usually form more metastasis in other organs or form another uh, uh, kinds of cancer in another site. And that is why we need to use in this case, uh, you, I'm using in this case high diluted medication to improve the energy because energy in Chinese medicine means immune system. If you treat the energy, you are increasing the immune system and using only this treatment, you can uh, create the um, uh, one way to immune system fight against the malignant cells itself without the using of another kinds of chemotherapy or other therapy that can harm the vital energy of the patients. 
And here is only to demonstrate to you the necessity of um, have the Western medicine and TCM reasoning when treating these patients to have a better result. And the conclusion of this study is that it is very important to treat the cancer patient at the energy level in each patient as cancer is seen as a result of the patient energy deficiency and the recharging the chakras energy is important to their treatment or even cure of this pathology, balancing internal energy and taking out the heat retention through the correcting of the diet and the acupuncture and apex bloodletting is the tools that are used to balance the internal energy and replenishment the chakra using high diluted medication to work with this uh, energy in uh, inducing the um, the improvement of this um, immune system and that can fight against the malignant tumor regression. And according to these uh, two case reports based uh, in this presentation. And uh, only to show you that this, um, this article is, was published last month in this, uh, in this uh, the importance of treating energy balance and chakra refreshment in patients with cancer. And I want to thank you. Is uh, the last the full, uh, uh, Hippocrates quote Foolish the doctor who despises the knowledge acquired by the ancient, ancient, and your natural forces within us are the true healers of the disease. Thank you for listening. If you have any question, please ask him now. I will be happy to answer. Thank you very much. Okay, questions? No questions? Uh, okay, I don't know for whom it will be lunchtime, but uh, for Romania and some other <laughs> country, it's dinner time. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> let's, we will have break.